He did it and it's friggin' awesome. Nico over at Nico Industries has made a blender training class called Blender to Printer. And it's specifically designed for folks like myself who are itching and dying to learn how to make your own cosplay related files that you can then run off in 3D print. I have gone through a number of the videos in that class and today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the objects that I've designed and printed. It's gonna be a Fuse shoulder armor, and if you're not familiar with Fuse, it, you should be, first of all. He's the latest Apex Legends character that was just recently released, and yeah, he's a pretty awesome character. By the way, if you're interested in playing some Apex with me, let me know. Game tag's the same as the uh, YouTube channel here, that's where it actually all originated from, funny enough. So Nico has made this 20 part class that you can run off and take and it walks you through starting from the very bare bone basics of how to get used to working with Blender for 3D modeling and again specifically for running off and 3D printing. In the video series he walks you through making your own Mandalorian armor. Everything from the shoulder armor to forearm to the chest to the thigh to the helmet and even some props as well. It's really fantastic and for a dumb dumb like me to be able to walk through and understand. He breaks it down and makes it really easy and straightforward to explain and make sure that you understand it as you're walking through it. And the best part, again, is that it's designed specifically for then running off and 3D printing that we're gonna do here today. With that said, let's run off and print the shoulder armor that I designed. Crazy excited about this. And while we looked at this print that I designed and printed, let's talk about today's video sponsor, which is the folks over at Elgu. They make the wonderful Elgu Saturn that I'm printing here today that you can find over on the Amazons as well as Elgu shop. As soon as they're available, you need to make sure to snatch that up because they go very fast. We're also gonna be cleaning it on the Elgu wash and cure station. And I'm using Elgu's water washable gray resin for this particular print. I can't recommend the Elgu Saturn enough if you're in the market for a mid size 4K mono screen resin 3D printer that produces some absolutely stunning 3D prints. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. All right, and here it is, my 3D designed and printed Fuse shoulder pauldron from Apex Legends. This might not be the most accurate, but I am pretty happy with the results that I've gotten out of this with my first attempt at really properly doing some 3D modeling with Blender. I should mention, I did take a stab at using Blender, utilizing a whole bunch of just free, random tutorials that I found online. The problem with those is that they're not all specific to cosplay and making a helmet or armor or anything along those lines. The way that Nico structured this, it just makes it so simple and easy to follow as well as something that I can re easily relate to. And as I'm running through each of the videos, I'm jotting down <laughs> different project ideas. And it was so funny, I was watching, this is literally the first set of videos. It walks you through how to build the shoulder armor. And the first thing that popped into my head was this would be perfect for a fuse armor piece. Fair effort, mate. Next round's on me. So I did end up scaling it somewhat properly here. I think I made the file just a little bit too small. I maybe should have made it just a little bit longer here. Again, this is really my first stab at properly designing something for printing. I also used a number of different techniques from Nico's videos as well. So there was some of it, it was just really all about beveling and designing this out and cutting out some pieces here. And then I also incorporated some of the actual digital design work using my 22 inch Huyan tablet that I have that I picked up for ZBrush, but funny enough, just ended up using it in Blender anyways to do the actual etching here on the side of the armor piece. And the Elgu Saturn made quick work of this as well and I could have easily printed this on an FDM printer however I really wanted to see what the details were going to look like on one of my resin machines and the Saturn was a perfect fit for this so I could pick up and see all of the little details that I might have missed with the actual 3D rendering. So far I think this just looks really good and I'm pretty happy with my initial results here. I still have a ton to learn. I'm gonna be playing around with this a lot more here over the upcoming weeks. I've already started on the process of making my own helmet. Should hopefully have that up on screen here, which is sort of a combination between Mandalorian and uh, Magneto helmet there. So this should be a fun little project. And again, I will be sharing all of these files, first of all, with my Patreon members. So huge thank you to all of my Patreon members. If you're interested in becoming part of 
supportive one of my patrons, uh, you'll find links down below to that. I'm also releasing all of my resin 3 printer settings. I keep saying that, but I am doing that this week. It's just a matter of compiling all those and rechecking those. Uh, everything kind of gets all mixed up and swapped around there in YouTube box. So I'm trying to make heads and tails of that before getting it out there to everybody. But I just want to say a huge thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. A huge thank you to Nico for spending all of the time compiling and making all of these classes. I should mention that it is a paid class that you're going to have to buy into. However, he has been gracious enough to make a whole bunch of free videos and posting them on his YouTube channel as well getting you started with some of the prop making process there. I'm gonna be following along with his lightsaber build as well as his most recent sword build for some other upcoming projects of mine. But again, if you're interested in this, I'll have links down below to Nico's course. I'm still gonna be running through this and doing some other cool things. For sure, you will be seeing some other projects coming from me in the upcoming weeks on this. I'm crazy excited to finally be learning how to 3D model for myself and make some really cool things and share it out there with the community. So huge thank you to Nico for that. Hey, thanks again for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments what you think I should try and make next. I mean, this Mandalorian Magneto helmet is clearly a no-brainer for me, but let me know what you guys think and I can try to take a stab at it. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be a lot of trial and error, that's for sure. Hey, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.